Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia and this is my channel at Sadia's Finances where I discuss all things about my finances essentially. So how I budget my money, what my actual outgoings are for the month, uh, my weekly expenses and how I invest my money, where I put my money into savings and sinking funds as well. So if that's something you do enjoy and like watching, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the content that I'm creating so far. If there is any other types of videos that you would like to me, like me to do, do leave a comment in the comment section below. So this week, I haven't spent that much money, I don't believe. I have had a few expenses. Some were unplanned, so I'm lucky that I had my unexpected um, category um, there, as I have spent, I would say, pretty much the whole wallet for that, <laughs> essentially. I've also purchased a few clothing items. There weren't expenses I was planning to make this month because I haven't bought clothes for the last couple of months, but there was a few things that I needed in my wardrobe. I'm trying to create a wardrobe that is a capsule wardrobe, essentially, and we have key staple pieces, so I'm not buying cheap clothing or clothing that gets ruined within six to nine months. I'm trying to have pieces that are long-lasting, so let's get into tracking all my expenses for the week. The first expense of the week was actually for my Netflix. So I had to pay 14, not 14 pounds, <laughs> getting the dates and the amounts mix up there. Um, I had to pay five pounds. Um, this is my usual amount that I usually pay for Netflix. I was I kind of forgot this was coming out this week. Um, I just totally forgot about it essentially. I don't pay a lot for Netflix because I split the bill with my siblings so it is affordable for myself and I do watch it quite a lot during a month. Um, there's a lot of TV shows and programmes that are coming out. Um, I think Bridgerton is coming out next week. I cannot wait to watch season two. Do let me know in the comment section below if you guys have watched Bridgerton already and if you're looking forward to watching Bridgerton season two as well. The second expense of the week was on the 16th of March. Oh, by the way, if my voice sounds a bit different, it's because I've had a bit of a cold this week. Not COVID, thankfully, but I can't seem to be getting rid of it. I'm taking medicine at the moment. We'll see how the next couple of days essentially go. So on the 16th, I spent £1.25p at Co-op. And I essentially used the change that I had in my wallet. I couldn't be bothered to take out the money from the um, groceries envelope. So I just used the change in my wallet. I'm not 100% sure what that change was actually from, but I've used it now and I'm categorising it as a food expense. Also on the same day, I spent £2.10p at the pharmacy. Um, this was actually um, medication that my mum needed. So she just needed some painkillers and this was just an unexpected purchase that has come out of my wallet essentially. <laughs> Which I don't mind, it doesn't really bother me. On the 18th of March I spent £43, no £45 and 20 p on a eBay. So <laughs> there's been a cashmere jumper that I wanted from Mark Suspenser for such a long time I think pretty much about a year and a half maybe two years and I've been waiting for it to come back into stock and it came into stock I would say two times but at the time I didn't really budget for that and it was around summer I was like I didn't really need a cashmere jumper and then it came back in stock around November time December time but it went straight into the sales and I couldn't get it because it ran out of stock and then I got an email saying that oh this product isn't ever coming back into stock and the other day I think it was like a Monday or maybe last Sunday. I was just on eBay and I was like, let me just write down the Marks and Spencer's cashmere jumper that I want in camel size 10 and see whether anyone is selling it. Um, and there I see it, someone is actually selling it on eBay. Brand new with the tags and there was a bid on it and I bid £41 for it and I think it was about £4 something in delivery. And I didn't expect to win, not until I got the notice, I think, was it on the 18th of March? Yeah, the 18th. And I was like, oh, 
I've got to pay for this now. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to win because I, th I thought someone else would, would have bid on top of it, but no one did, and I actually won it. So I am actually really pleased that um, I made this purchase. I know in March and you're thinking cashmere jumper, but it's going to be a real key part of my um, capsule wardrobe when it comes to autumn winter time. And it's something that I know that would last in my wardrobe for a long time. I've got the Mark the Spencer cashmere jumper in black. So I knew that it was good quality and it would last. I've had that for, I think, maybe more than two years now. And I've worn it quite a lot. So I know I'll get my wear out from the cashmere jumper from Mark the Spencer. And usually that retails for £79. So for me to purchase it around £45 and 20 p it's quite good and something that I did budget uh, for this month I wasn't planning to buy this cashmere jumper I was planning to buy other clothing items but I've spent it now and I can't do anything about it and I cannot wait to receive it in the post um, should be coming today the day that I'm filming this is on a Saturday so I should essentially be receiving it today but we'll see whether I'll receive it or not I also did some shopping on Zara and I spent £50 on Zara. There was a few items that I wanted for my wardrobe, um, a few different colours. My, my wardrobe's kind of gone bland because I've taken a lot of things out of my wardrobe that I don't no longer wear. So I thought I'd just give my wardrobe a refresh of the items that I essentially need. I wasn't expecting to buy clothing this month. I do like budgeting for clothing just in case I see something that I like and I want to purchase as well. Another expense for the 18th of March was a £5 deposit. This is for an appointment that I will be having in May to get my eyebrows done. And I've had to use this from the unexpected purchases category. The reason being that I wasn't planning to pay for a deposit. Um, but it's good, it's companies like small beauty parlours are having this because a lot of people do miss their appointments and no longer turn up and then they lose out on their money. So it's good that they have something in place like this um, so that you know they don't lose out on cash. But I wasn't expecting to pay it this month. It's the reason being is that um, around end of April, uh, beginning of May, it's going to be Eid. So I want to get my eyebrows done. And usually that time, a lot of people get their beauty treatments done because they want to look nice for Eid essentially and I was like I need to book the appointment in now and I just forgot about the deposit that I had to pay but luckily I had some money left over from the unexpected purchases category so I used that money from that category itself and I also spent £10 85p in Amazon this was actually from my mum um Last week I purchased a jewellery box um, to, put, uh, to put all my um, jewellery items in essentially and she liked it and I also bought it for her as well and again this was from the unexpected purchases um, category so literally the whole wallet is empty so I cannot have any more unexpected purchases for this month essentially. And today is the 19th, it's Saturday when I'm filming this and I've spent £20 already and this is going to go to the butchers so I need to essentially go and pick this up later this evening and I know I'm going to spend £20 on this so there won't be any change coming out of this usually I would film my um, weekly expense videos on a Sunday and that way I know how much I've spent roughly for the week but this week, um, well this weekend essentially I'm going into London on Sunday so, and I'll be coming later in the evening, about 7, maybe 8 o'clock in the evening. And by that point, I'm going to be tired and knackered. And I will not, I, can, I cannot be bothered to film. I know that for sure. I won't be doing that. So, I will have expenses for tomorrow. But I'm going to carry those expenses over towards week 4. So, those expenses for Sunday will be on the Monday's expenses. So, if I make sense. So, tomorrow's the 20th. Um... The expenses for the 20th will essentially carry over to the 21st of March and that will be included in uh, my March week 4 spend video. I'm just being transparent, I don't really see the need to hide anything or be dishonest, um, dishonest about the way I'm spending. Um, so I'm just being truthful as I can be. And I'm just letting you guys know that my expenses for Sundays will essentially be in week 4's video and that will be on the... Monday the 21st, that's where I plan to put it. So you'll be able to see what I spent 
um, my money on. It's potentially going to be maybe a bit more shopping. I don't. I need to think I've only got twenty, maybe thirty pounds left in my shopping wallet. To be honest, for um, clothing, I'll be doing a lot of dining out, so there'll be some stuff from that, and there'll probably be public transport costs. But you'll see that in next week's video. And I think that's pretty much it for week three of March. Yes, I think that's it. I don't think I had any more expenses from what I can remember. And the total amount that I have spent, I'm just going to make sure I'm still in line for week three is... Do you know, I would love if I could have a get uh, purchase a mechanical calculator. There's one that I like, but it's quite expensive, like £40. I'm not paying £40 for a calculator just yet. I might do in the future, but I pre-calculated this and the total of this is £139.40, and p which is a good amount compared to week one and week two of my March expenses. So this is actually a low amount and I'm actually pleased with this. There were a few unexpected purchases. I wouldn't say there were impulse purchases, they're just or purchases that I wasn't planning to make out of my budget essentially but it is what it is and I'm actually kind of glad that I haven't spent quite a lot of money this week we'll see how week four will go um, in terms of expenses for that week but I'm hoping it will be a quiet week usually when I get paid I'm going to get paid next week on the 24th of March and usually when I'm payday week um, I don't spend much I'm really careful with the amount that I'm spending so we'll see what happens in week four March spend. And let's get into seeing how much money I've got left over in my cash envelopes. So the first cash envelope that I'm going to take a look at is the groceries one. And I have £10, £15, £20 left over. I, I think I should be alright and this money shouldn't actually be spent next week. But we'll see um, whether I have any more snack runs. I'm trying to reduce my snack runs, but sometimes I'm craving crisp or chocolate. If we don't have any in the house, I am going to go to the shops. Um, you know, that's why the money is there, <laughs> essentially. So, essentially, I'm hoping I don't spend the rest of £20 and that money will go towards my sinking funds. My sinking funds video this month is going to be quite different. It's going to be a lot of money that's getting stuffed in a lot of the cash envelopes. So the second cash envelope that I take a look at is clothing. I think pretty much the whole budget for the clothing has essentially gone. And I've only got 10, 20 pounds left. So this 20 pound, I was meant to buy my brother some trainers. I don't think I'll be buying them with 20 pounds that were left over. Um, but we'll see what he needs. He's got some of his own money. So if he needs um, a bit of cash for me, I'll provide it to him. So that's no problem. For the other category, I'm pretty sure this only has the unexpected cash that I had left over and that was £20 and that is essentially all gone. Some of the change has actually, oops, nearly knocked my camera over, some of the change has gone into my coin wallet so this is something that I'll be putting into my new blue money box and you'll see that on the sinking funds video. And that's it. Hopefully this was a a short video and I haven't rambled on for too long but if you have enjoyed the video please do like the video and leave a comment below to let me know how your week three expenses were let me know how much money you're going to also put towards your sinking fund if you've got sinking funds how they're going so yeah just leave a comment below and I'll reply to you and if you're not subscribed to my channel already do subscribe as it really helps uh, me to know that, that you guys are enjoying my content, you're liking my videos. And if you don't follow me on Instagram already, do follow me on there as well. It's at Sadie's Finances. And I also talk with things about all about my finances on that channel as well. How I'm making inside hustle income, my weekly expenses as well, just to give you a quick overview. And other things as well. I've got some good content that I'm planning to put onto Instagram as well. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.